Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you my June budget setup. If you saw my Erin Condren haul, which I will link below, then you will know that I'm going to be budgeting a little bit differently than I used to. So if you want to see my budget setup for the month of June, then just keep on watching. All right, so I want to just quickly show you the stickers that I got there from caffeinated kate on etsy i will link her shop below i absolutely love her shop i love her stickers i've been using them for a while now so i ended up picking up this it's like the essentials kit so i actually did not do the full-blown budget kit because i realized that it's a little bit redundant to do the monthly budget and then break it down by paycheck because i solely budget based on my paycheck so it really doesn't make sense to do a monthly one too so it also cuts back the expense of the stickers so i ended up getting the essential sheet I got the sinking funds sheet this is technically the June kit actually I think both kits that I got for June and July they are both for June but since I'm not doing the monthly one I ended up just picking up some plain script stickers so I can notate what month it is again this saves money so sinking funds debt tracker debt snowball the paycheck one and two sheets, so they look the same, and then there's the one and two header. And I also picked up a spending tracker. I'm gonna try really hard to track my spending in the month of June and really see like where I'm spending money and just kind of I think it's good sometimes just to write down like what you spend I usually always fail at spending trackers but I really want to try <laughs> for the month of June so this is my petite planner from Erin Condren this is just it's unlined so I actually was planning what I was gonna do but now that I changed it I don't need these so I think for the first page, I'm debating if I want to put like a, the script header or whatever up top and then maybe write down like maybe goals or notes for the month. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this page, but I know for sure I don't want to start my budget on this page. I want them to be side by side. So we are going to go ahead and start with the headers. So I have not ever done this in this planner before, so we shall see how it works. Let me kind of decide. All right, I'm committing to that because if I unstick it again, it's going to just not, not restick. So then I'm gonna put the paycheck one. There we go, and then while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and set up the other page. There, I think that looks super cute. Then I need... So because of the whole virus situation, um, my I am on reduced hours at work, so things are a little bit different for me. I'm not going to put in my totals or anything or like my amounts because to me that's just not helpful for you. It's not helpful to know my numbers because your numbers are your numbers. So anyway, first I want to go ahead and do my income sticker. All right, so then I'm going to put... I get paid on the 5th and the 20th, so, and I will fill in um, what my expected and actual is, obviously not on camera. That is the only source of income for me. Alright, then we'll put the expenses header. All right, and then I also just need to pull up my, like, she. I also track my budget, like, in Google Docs, just that way if I need to easily reference something on my phone, or I should say Google Sheets, then I can. This is just holding down the sheet. Don't mind the game. So we have...
my gym is opening back up. Actually, it did open up, so I'm sure I'll be getting charged again for that. Let me... I want this to be, like, thicker writing. It's because there's nothing... It's not thick enough underneath. Then I have my phone. I count my auto savings as a bill because in order to keep my bank account or my checking account or my savings account free, I have to have an auto save. So I kind of count that as an expense because it is. Also my Hulu. Then I'm going to... So these are as far, like for my first paycheck, these are like the main expenses that come out. And then I also budget in my, um, my sun pass for tolls, gas, grocery, entertainment. My entertainment budget is for like eating out and things like that, you know, anything that would be kind of considered entertainment. Of course, right now, a lot of things are not even open, so I have been putting my entertainment budget less because, again, I'm on reduced hours, so that's kind of the first thing that gets cut. So that is as far as my expenses go. I will leave an extra one blank just in case there's something I forgot because that happens to me sometimes. So... And then I also usually will put my sinking funds under like my expenses as well because it is being deducted from my income. I guess what I could do is I'll use one of these tabs just for fun and go ahead and put this here and do And I will fill in those later. I have, you know, different things. So that is the first paycheck side pretty much set up. And then, I, like I said, I'll fill in my sinking funds later. For me, it's kind of personal. And again, it doesn't really help you to know what my sinking funds are. You can make your own. I usually do sinking funds for anything that I want to save up for, whether that be um, a vacation or just anything. So then I'm going to do my second paycheck. Hopefully, I'll be getting back to normal hours here soon, but my job has been really, really slow. So, I don't know when we'll be getting back to full-time hours. And part of me kind of enjoys not having to work 40 hours, but I don't enjoy when my paycheck rolls around. So, then we have the expenses. And then I have different expenses, obviously. I also pay, so I end up splitting my phone bill into two just because it kind of helps to like leave a little bit. It just, it just helps to like split it up like this. So that's how I usually do it. All right, and then again, I will leave one little blank spot just in case. And then I will also do another tab because I split up my sinking funds uh, by paycheck. I just do everything by paycheck because that's just how I do it. All right. So now what I can do is I think I will take, I want to go in and fill in the lines here just to kind of separate things out. You know, I usually end up, like, not successfully completing a budget or, like, following it completely. So I really want to, that's one of my goals, I think, for June is to really just try to stick to it and at least fill in everything. Like, usually for the variable stuff, I end up just not ever coming back to filling it in. So I'm hoping the transaction log will help with that and just really force me because I really want to see, you know, what I can do with my budget. So that's not perfect, but... There's the lines there. All 
Okay, so that is that. That's what those two pages look like. Then we are go ahead and jump to the next set of pages, and this is where I'll set up my sinking funds and then debt. I don't really have a lot, like a lot of debt. It's really just one source, but I do like to track it. I know it seems a little bit silly to buy a whole sticker just to track a little bit of debt, but I don't know. And I do, I also use a checkbook register, like just a plain checkbook register to track my sinking funds. That way like on the go I can easily deduct an ad from that, but I also like to keep a running list here as well, as well as like notes, like if I need to notate something specific. So I will go in and fill this stuff in and then add the total once I figure out the number of ones that I need. And then we will go ahead and set up this page. Alright, and like I said, I only have one thing here, so I can put that, and then again, if I need to make any notes, like I've been trying to make extra payments when I can, so that can be notated here. And then we'll go ahead and set up the spending tracker. I kind of hate that it would be on this page, I'd rather it be here. Um, that's alright, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'll put it on this page because if the transactions end up spilling over, I'd rather have the extra room to write. And then obviously I'm not going to put the total tab until the very, very end, like of the end of the month. Alright, so I'm going to keep that aside and then... So this is going to be, I think, I think I will do, go ahead and do, like put June here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put, monthly budget slash. Um, just for the heck of it, let's decorate it with the little pig. <laughs> and then we can also... Since I have these decorative ones, I might as well use them. You know, that's cute. And then again, if there's any notes that I want to make, like if I maybe did an overspend day, or like if I overspent in a category, I can notate that here, maybe why that happened. So that way I can plan for it. So then. Since I have these, let's go ahead and do the little money guy right there. Little money guy right there. <laughs> okay. So here is a flip through. So we have that. And that is it. I really love the way these stickers look. I really love her stickers in general. They're high quality. They're very nice. So if you guys are interested, I will link her shop below. This was the, one of the June kits. But again, since I, you can use this for any month because if you don't buy the monthly, like whole, the full budget, then it doesn't have the month sticker. Like it doesn't have the script for the month. So you can use it for whatever. Like I said, I even bought for July. I bought, this is another June kit. So... That is that. So anyway, guys, that is it for my budget setup. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.